Saturday, July 30th, we have a massive earthquake swarm at the Fagradosval volcano. This is where the last eruption happened in Iceland that lasted for months. And this earthquake swarm is similar to when the volcano was erupting. Now, today around 9 UTC, a small earthquake swarm took place in Fagradosval Fagradosval Mountain. At around 12 UTC, a stronger, more massive earthquake swarm began. And this intense earthquake swarm has been occurring and is still ongoing. We're going to show you the data in just a second. Now, there have been over 900 earthquakes in just the last 12 hours. Take a look at that. So, very interesting. The quakes are widespread, too. They're going all the way up here towards Snaefelens. Um... And so they're basically, the entire island is rocking. So take a look at that earthquake swarm. Well, now let's come down to the Reykjanes Ridge here, the peninsula, and take a look. We've have the, the bit, the hot, there's been over 30 earthquakes above three magnitude, four earthquakes above four magnitude, and they're all focusing on this one region here. So this is all occurring because of magma moving below the surface, and this those green stars would be where the magma will be coming out if this, in fact, is the event that causes the next eruption at this volcano. So we have a massive, ongoing, intense earthquake swarm that has been occurring for about 12 hours, which is uh, with the strongest of magnitude M4. Well, there's been bigger ones now since then. There's clearly been an M2, looks like an M4.4 and maybe a 4.3. So, very interesting what's developing here at, on Iceland. So, we're keeping a close eye on that. Anything develops, stay tuned for another update. Now, there's a few more volcanoes we want to talk about. Cerro Negro in Colombia. There's a more seismic unrest occurring there. Another seismic swarm here. Take a look at that. The largest earthquake here has been M5.2. And there have been 572 quakes in, the, in this particular volcanic region. Between 0.5 and 4.2. Holy macaroni, that is quite a bit of activity there at Cerro Negro. Now, Cerro Negro, not a lot of data on it. One eruption known in 1936 at VEI-2. It's not a very pointy volcano either, so probably VEI-2 could be all we're looking at here if, in fact, an eruption occurs. Now, also, Raung Volcano, East Java, this is a big baby. And the alert level has been raised to orange here. Also, I want to say that Reykjanes alert level has been raised to yellow. So that's the highest you can get before erupting. All right, where were we? Back here at Raung, there has been elevated seismic activity at the volcano from July 8th to the 19th, and there is some concern. This is a uh, large stratovolcano with extremely explosive eruptive history, including VEI-3, VEI-4 and VEI-5 back in 1593, but has been erupting pretty regularly at VEI-2 or higher. Here's a VEI-3 in 56, VEI-2 in 74, VEI-3 in 1982, and a VEI-2 in 97, 99, 2000. You can see where we're going here. VEI-3 in 2012, VEI-3 in 2014. So we could be looking for a VEI-3 maybe or greater from Raung. And so lots happening. Also on Iceland, we have Ostia volcano. There has been stable uplift for years, and it's gone up another three centimeters, and there is new imaging of the uplift just east of the lake there. So that would be where the eruption would be occurring, right here at the peak of that deformation. So a lot going on all across the world with volcanoes especially a massive earthquake swarm happening now on the Reykjanes Peninsula. And we're going to keep a close eye on it for you. This baby is going to eventually erupt and reach the surface. Hope you got something out of video. That's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And buckle up. Something's about to go boom.